Hi, in this video we are going to talk about real-life problems involving arithmetic series. So at the end of this lesson, um, you'd be able to correctly solve real-life problems involving arithmetic series. So this is an example. Alan saved 10 pesos on Monday, 11 pesos on Tuesday, 12 pesos on Wednesday, and so on. How much would he be able to save in 30 days? So this is an application of arithmetic series um, because we are just going to add all of his savings from Monday, from the first day until the 30th day. So 10 pesos on Monday, 11 pesos on Tuesday, 12 pesos on Wednesday, and so on. So that's like um, an increment of peso or piso or one peso um, each day. Okay, so 10 pesos, day one, 11 pesos, day two, day, um, day three, 12 pesos, day four, um, 13 pesos, and so on. All right, so in this case, since hindi natin alam kung ano or magkano ang masave niya on the 30th day, hindi natin alam ang last term. Therefore, we are going to use the second formula for arithmetic series, which is S sub n equals n over 2 times 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, we are going to find the common difference first. And that is just easy because you just, um, ima minus lang natin yung 11 sa 10. So, that's 11 minus 10, that's 1. So, the common difference is 1. Yung n naman, of course, we are looking for um, the sum of uh, the first 30 terms, okay? So, that's 30 days. So, n is 30. So, 30 din ito dito. And, of course, our first term is 10 pesos, right? So, n then is 30. So, we have substituting, we have s sub 30 equals 30 over 2 times 2 times 10 plus 30 minus 1 times 1. Of course, that's the, the common difference, 1. Solving that, we have so 30 minus 1, that's 29 times 1, so that's 29. 2 times 10, that's 20. 30 over 2 is 15 times 49, so that gives you 735. So therefore, Alan will be able to save 735 pesos in 30 days. Another example, Company A offers a clerk a starting salary of 6,000 pesos with an incentive of 200 pesos salary increase every month. How much is the clerk's total salary after a year? So total salary niya after 12 months. So, of course, mag-start siya with 6,000 pesos. So, every month, mag increase yung 6,000 by 200. Alright. Again, in this example, this is an application of arithmetic series because we are looking for the total salary after 12 months. So, i-add lang natin yung 6,000 plus 6,200 plus 6,400 and so on. Okay, so arithmetic series siya. But in this situation, again, we do not know the last term. Hindi natin alam kung magkano na ang susweldohin niya after a year, on the 12th month. Okay, hindi natin alam ang last term. So therefore, again, we are going to use the second formula in which we are going to look for the common difference. But um, actually, there's no need for us to look for the common difference because it's already given. Okay, So, 200, sa 200 pesos salary increase, that is our common difference. Kasi magi increase from 6,000 on the sec second month, magiging 6,200. Uh, 6, on the third month, magiging 6,400. So, magdadagdag ng 200. So, this is our common difference. So, again, substituting our N because after a year ito, so that's every month. So, after a year, so that's like 12 months. So, our, our N is 12. So, 12 din ito. Yung first term natin, of course, is 6,000. That's uh, the starting salary. 
and then yung n pa rin is 12 because after a year and the common difference is given so that's 200 salary increase substituting that we have s sub 12 equals 12 over 2 times 2 times 6000 6000 yung first term natin plus 12 minus 1 yung 12 of course that's the n okay and the common difference is 200 solving so 12 minus 1 is 11 11 times 200 that's give uh, that gives you 200 2200 and then 2 times uh, 6000 that gives you 12000 so 12 over 2 that's like 12 divided by 2 that's 6 so we have 85200 therefore the clerk's total salary in one year is 85200 pesos <music>